and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival with me, Squidoodle. Actually, with me, Sweaty Boy 420. Oh, it's so hot in England right now. It's like 30 degrees and I can't stand it. But here I am making an epic Scrap Mechanic video for your face. So you better enjoy it. So today we're taking a break from the conveyor belt. Uh, you guys seem to la love, love, love that episode. Uh, but yeah, we've pretty much finished it. It is nearly done. So the next episode later on this week is going to be the uh, conveyor belt finale. And then we can obviously finish the 5k farm. So what I've basically been doing is I've been grinding some more component kits and I found a glitch. So what the plan is today is to try and get ourselves a lot more of these bad boys. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, we managed to get the big chests and I'm dehydrated, isn't that funny? Um, <laughs> yeah, so we managed to glitch these big chests, okay? No cheats! 100% no cheats! Alright, I'm going to show you today how uh, we do this. So I'm going to try and get as many back home as I can. And the funny thing is, is that these actually resupply on loot every day. So if we get like 10 or 20 here, we're just going to have so much free stuff. And I feel like that's just going to be uh, super amazing. So we're going to go out. I'm going to show you guys how to get these big chests. And then I will try and do a little bit more on the conveyor belt. I want to show you guys what we've been working on and why we're up to because I'm pretty sure that you'd like to know. And it's still lagging. It's quite laggy. So we're going to have to have a big debate um, towards, you know, when we've sort of finished the conveyor belt, whether or not we want to actually keep said conveyor belt after we finish farming because it does uh, seem to lag that whole area out, which isn't so much of a problem if I wasn't living next to it, but I am. I am pretty close to Larry, and therefore, we are close to the lag. Anyway, let's go, and I'll show you guys how we do this, this thing. Have I got all my stuff that I need? Yes. So a funny thing's been happening as well, <laughs> and my wheels have been like twisty twisting for some stupid reason. Like, whenever you're driving about, the wheels are just going, they just kind of flop around like a cooked piece of spaghetti, and it's not great. So scrap mechanics, I'm going to add that to the, uh, the, the to-do list for fixing, okay? I know that you're probably quite busy right now with the amount of bug fixes, but I'm gonna request you to fix this one, please. It's a little bit laggy. A little bit laggy. Look at my wheels. I, am, I think it might be the conveyor belt, actually, that's uh, making this thing go all spaghetti-fied, but um, I'm not a fan of it, Scrap Mechanic. I'd really like you to fix this and kind of fix the conveyor belt. I, I feel like that you need to fix the bearings and how much, like, demand they actually have on the Scrap Mechanic engine, because People want to build big things in Scrap Mechanic. I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of speaking for quite a lot of people here. Maybe they don't. Oh, there we go, my FPS is back. Maybe they don't want to build big things, but I want to build more big things. So please, Scrap Mechanic, will you, will you try and fix their engine and make it so that I could build more stupid things? Because I really am enjoying it. Okay, so I believe we are here. So I don't really know where to park this thing because it'd be quite nice if I could catch it, but... I don't know. We'll see where we can get it to. You guys probably like, what's going on? Don't break my wheel! Don't you break my wheel! Don't break my wheel! Stop breaking stuff! Absolute animals. Did they break any? Did they hurt you? No? Okay, great. Man, I hit them things. Stupid. 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 Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. Chill out. Calm down. I swear none of them drop component kits anymore. Why, scrap mechanic? Why you gotta be like this sometimes? But anyway. So, you've got to find these types of buildings. Not all of them work, as in um, not all of the little, um, yeah, these hideouts work. It's got to be a specific one. It's got to be one that has these, but behind the rock. So, I'll show you what I mean. So, let's see, like, this isn't behind the rock. You'll, you'll know when you see what I mean when I say behind the rock. And I'm not talking about, you know, behind, like, Dwayne Johnson. I'm on about behind... A physical rock. Why is nothing dropping component kits, please? I'm still on the hunt. I still need them. There we go. Thank you, game. So once you get to this floor, it's kind of the same on every building. There's always a chest to chest here. All right. Now, when I was doing this, I was I, I dropped something inside and I was trying to get it and I smashed it with a hammer. And you can see, I don't know if you can see actually, but the flexing. They're like, if you hit them, they like start to move, which is an indication of the devs haven't actually secured this one down. The rest of them in the building, they're secure. They're like actually into the map. But these ones on the top floor behind the rock, they're not secure. It's a big, it's a big oof. 
from the scrap mechanic devs and I will gladly take advantage of their mistakes. <laughs> so all you do is do like this and then you squeeze it, ah, you get down and then it, it just plops and that's it. Lost it forever. I haven't really. Haven't really. Oh my goodness, is Facebook going again? So once we get down here, you will see that it has majestically fallen from the ceiling and uh, is on the floor now, which is great, which means we can take it home. So I need to park El Car here, like right there. It's in a good position. So can we can we do this? Oh, like a boss. Okay, right. Let's turn this bad boy around. I'm actually stuck in a. I'm stuck in a tree. Excuse me, mate. You're actually in my way of um, construction. There we go. Trees down. Just go away. Just go away. Go away. Go away. So it's there. That's the balcony. Okay, so let's do some... Uh, let's show off my reversing skills. Try not to get annihilated by any uh, hair bots. That'd be absolutely lovely. Beep. 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 All right. I think that's good. All right, let's go back up. So now we have the amazing task of getting this bad boy outside. So this is a bit of a problem here. So what we need to do is make a little bit of a ramp without using too many of our precious blocks. That should be fine. And then the rest we're going to need to push this thing out. So all we have to do is but a boom like this. And then, like this. Did I bring a switch? Yes, I did. Oh, look at me. Big brain. Big brain squid. Do this, do this. Connect them up. And then push. Yes, go. And then, uh, actually, if I... Oh, my goodness. It is making some weird noises. Did I bring my weld tool? Oh, did I not bring my weld tool? Ah, uh, this is a small brain move. Okay. Never mind. I'll just have to keep rebuilding it. But yeah, it's pretty much it. It's nothing too complex, but... Um, it means we can get continuous free loot, which I'm all about. I'm pretty sure if you ask any person that plays Scrap Mechanic and, you know, you should be like, well, we could do this and you get free loot and it's not technically cheating. I'm pretty sure they'll be like, yes, okay. Where do I sign up? Where do I actually sign up for this? Have I got another piston? Yes, I do. Here we go. Here we go. Get out of there. Nice. That's what we want. You can still hear, like, the tree outside that I chopped down, like, falling over. I don't know why it glitches like that. It's so stupid. Right, we're nearly out the door, which is absolutely wonderful. Let's keep pushing this sucker. Oh, why do pistons do that? It's so stupid. Okay, we need a really, we need a little bit more, so I'm not even gonna bother like moving the pistons. I'm just gonna add more on and then give it another push. Give it another perk. Okay, I've nearly pushed it down the stairs, which we don't want to do because our car's like outside. Okay, so now we just need to push it this way. Go! <gasps> oh, it's nearly gone. It's nearly gone. Okay, let's uh, add another one of these, add another one of these, and give it another push, and hopefully, well, we'll hope that it lands on our truck. Come on. Okay, it's going to pull it back. I'm going to have to remove this one. Go. Oh, it's nearly there. I think if I, oops, I think if I upgrade, uh, if I extend the surface area of this, then it might be a little bit better. Here we go. And push. Come on, you beast. Go on, pistons. Don't give up on me. Come on, push. Push. I'm going to lift this piston up. That's it. Push the top. Push the top. Push at the top. Come on. Push it. Okay, we need it there. We need it there. We need it there. We need it there. I need to hold it in place. Get rid of that because it looks like it's going to snap off. Why did it, who coded the pistons? Why do they, always, they always look like spaghetti or something? I don't understand who spaghettified the pistons. They just need to get rid of that physics. It just does not work. I'm sorry, Scrap Mechanic, but it doesn't work. Make the pistons go straight and only straight. Here we go. Big push. Big push. It's like I'm giving birth. Come on. I can see the chest over the balcony. Oh, oh. Oh, we landed it. No way. Oh, I'm such an epic gamer. Yes, boys. My mum will be proud of me. I'm going to call her up tonight and be like, Hey, mum! I pushed the chest over the side of her uh, balcony. She's going to be like, wow. I'm so, I'm so happy for you, squid. That's what she calls me. All right, let's go. Oh, and... Oh, it's going to slide. Okay, no, 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 no,
Oh, we need, to, we need some more juice in this bad boy. Oh, look at us. We are epic thieves right now. Oh, no, no, no. Don't lose the chest. Don't lose the chest. That was such good precision to, like, knock it over the top of the balcony into the... Into the, uh, yeah, the, the, thing, the thingy magic, the car. Can you imagine playing scrap mechanic and actually going out to loot? I want to have a bunch of chests at my base at the end of this episode. I reckon it's possible. If my wheels stop spaghetti fine. Okay, here we go, boys. Chest number two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how do we get this off? I mean, I guess we could just piston it off, right? I need, like, one of them dumper trucks that, like, the back just kind of tilts. Just kind of, just a tilt, tilty truck. That's what we need. All right. Goodbye, chest. Come on. Oh, this is going to be the way in it. Go on. Hey, hey, let's go. Two chests. This one refilled it. No, that sucks. Oh, it's still on the bottom of it. Why can't we get rid of it? We've broken it. Maybe it thinks it's a part of the chest. Hang on. I'm going to have to drive off. Oh, there we go. It's off. Then we'll push it backwards. Get it in place with the other one. Why do they always land upside down? <laughs> well, I'm not complaining. I'd say that was a mission success. I feel like we need to go and get some more now. I think mean, by the time we're back, these should have hopefully should have refilled. Okay, let's let's go decide where we want to go. So they need to be the same as the other ones. Maybe. Hmm. I don't really know. Let's just go and have a look. Look at this. Two chests. Epic gamers right now. I think I remember there being uh, a little hideout near this ember forest. Oh my god, I just chopped a tree down without even sawing it. <laughs> what? I think I just rammed the saw into it. Hang on, is that a, is that a, is that a viable saw, sawing tactic? What do I have to do to this one here? Ah! Okay, we didn't really, we didn't quite get it on the saw, but that, that, that was weird. Okay, let's try again. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it was a fluke. <laughs> so these ones with little thingy madubas on top. I believe these are the glitchy chest places. I, I think we've got a, a grade, a grade number five glitchy chester over here, guys. I ain't got time for you guys. I, I don't have the ammo. But apparently, you still want to mess with me. Ah, that's a scary sound. When your spud guns goes. Any, any things from you guys? Any component kits? Nope. Four batteries in a chest. Oh my goodness, if I just get like batteries in my chest or like seeds, I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm just going to run up to the uh, the top floor. And uh, actually, while we're down here, we might as well move our vehicle in the correct space because I feel like they're just going to be the same every time. Obviously, when the devs made them, they're all sort of the same. So there should be a balcony, which is there. So we just park our car here, just like the last one. Beep, 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 beep. It's the same tree in the same spot as well. What is this game? What is this copy and paste malarkey? No glitchy chest. You can smell them as well. You can smell the glitchy chest. This is not a good glitchy chest spot. There's a lot of gas I'm getting, which I'm not complaining because I'm all about that gas life. Soil will always help, especially with my 5k uh, soil farm coming up. Glitchy ch I can smell it. It's here. Here it is. Look. Can you yeah, it's moving. All right, we got a we got a grade A glitch here. Are you get gonna be uh, you gonna be get ready to teleport? Can we actually? Do we even have to push it through the floor? I guess pushing it through the floor is easier than pushing it through the walls. And it's gonna be hard to actually get it under it. So yeah, I guess we'll just stick with our good old technique. Maybe we could just push it through the floor again. Wait, what's below this floor actually? Get down! <laughs> the elevator just goes. <laughs> Bye. Actually, we'll do it. We'll do a big brain experiment. Uh, I don't think there's anything under this floor, so I might just push it through again. What is under it, actually? Is it just... Oh, Wait. How are we gonna... So it's kind of in line with the leg. Here. So we need to... Put... I... Mm, mm. I'll push it, and I'll see what happens. But if I'm... If I mess this up, then... I can just pick it up. Why, why do we try to reverse it? All right, I'm guessing the chest is like there, so we're gonna have to... I mean, I don't really think that's anywhere near, but I feel like this is in the way. So, we'll just have to see what happens, I think. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be kind of glad if this works better, because then I don't really have to mess around with pistons and such. All right, <laughs> well, here we go again. You're off on a little trip, my dude. Please don't get stuck in the world and glitch my world out. Here we go. Let's push it down and see what happens. Ooh, you get down there, mate. Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? 
Not one bit. I mean, you know, I can't really blame it. I wouldn't like that either. Get down. Go on. Is he gonna go? Okay. Well, that did work. <laughs> they might add more layers and see what happens. Take two. Let's go. So let's do this. Oh my goodness. And then we double it. You know, we just gonna triple it. Quadruple it. All right, look at that big sausage. All right, let's go. Come on. Well, damn, that did not work. Okay, well, my plan has been foiled. Ah, that's so annoying. Oh, well, time to get the pistons out and do the old pushy push. I might have to, like, move my, um... Oh, they're on the truck. Oh, my God, I'm such an idiot. Can't believe I left them on the truck. <laughs> uh, I, wish, I wish you could just, like, pick them up, but... You know, I'm happy that we can actually get them. Also, I feel like if I get them, they're going to be here forever. I can't imagine Scrap Mechanic patching them out. You know what I mean? So, let's try and do this. And go. Yes. Go on, son. Thin this. We need to add a little bit more. A little bit more to it. There we go. Push its butt. Go on. Push, push that butt. It's not doing it. I really should make this whole system a little bit more like mobile instead of rebuilding it every single time but the problem is you have to weld it to the floor because if you don't it's just not strong enough like these things they weigh they weigh a lot and go <laughs> oh my goodness yes go on out of the door hang on hang on hang on hang on i shouldn't need to move it yet we'll just make this a little bit thicker there we go and go. Now, some of you might be thinking, Squid, why don't you just carry on getting loot like you normally do? Like, surely that would be faster. And the answer is yes. Yes, it would. But for some stupid reason, I really enjoy making things hard for myself. But I feel like this would be a fun way. Can you imagine, like, walking out of my house? Oh, my God. I can actually have a chest room full of, like, loot that respawns. Like, I don't, if I can get, like, a lot of these, it doesn't. it's not going to be today. But if I could fill my house with a room full of these things... Oh, can you imagine? We just, like, leave our game on. Well, we can't leave our game on. Just There's just going to be forever loot spawning in these things, which I, I just really like the idea of, to be honest. It really appeals to me. Move away from the wall, please, sir. So you can do a little bit of a movement with the hammer, but it's, it's not a lot. <laughs> it's really not a lot. This, these things are super heavy. I'm trying to get it just to go out of the door. Okay, that kind of works. Maybe that's a, maybe this is a good idea just to push it, like, instead of messing about with uh, pistons and stuff. Maybe we could just, like, glitch it across. Watch it go back to the other side of the room now. <laughs> go on. No, don't go back in the corner. Is that, is that working? Kind of, I kind of think maybe the piston's a better way to go, actually. All right, it's just about in line for the big push. And I'm dying. Great. I think it's taken, like, a full day to get one. <laughs> Could have got, like, 50 component kits by now. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. No! Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Poke it, poke it, that's it, poke it. We can't leave it fully on because it, like, glitches inside of it. No! <laughs> oh my god, no! Why did I just stop? No, oh, this game, this game, this game, this game, this game, this game. Why can't I learn to just leave things alone? I'm like, just a bit more. Just a bit bar. You are going outside, mister. Please go outside. Please, please go outside. Oh, he's proper stuck in a corner. Right, I think it's time to add another one to our collection, so I'm hoping that this works smoothly. Go. Oh, yes. Go, keep going. Oh, it's not far, off, actually. We might be able to get a lift under this. Okay, we'll hold it there. The lift tactic is pretty good. And then add some blocks. No, okay, we'll just, we'll just move this quickly. Ah, it's crushing me! It's, it's rebelling! Quick! Quick, 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 quick. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, why? Why did I put the ramp at a funny angle? Okay, I'm gonna leave the ramp there. And then we need to extend this here. Give it a nice straight push. And hopefully land in my car. Oh, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Get over the... Yes! Land, 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 land. <laughs> ah, it's a mile away! No! <laughs> it's a 
freaking mile away, dude. Oh, no. This is even worse. Because how am I going to get this thing in the car? So, this is a problem. I feel like we're having a lot of problems today. <laughs> but luckily, I'm carrying some stuff on me. So, maybe this would be a good time to um, make ourselves a little piston gadget to grasp. Grasp them? Is that the right word? Gra grab them? Like a grabber machine, maybe? Alright. <laughs> this is so scuffed. Uh, the sides are on. If I can lift it off the ground, then maybe... I mean, I could do it with two pistons to, like, go down, clamp it, and then pull it back up, but I've only brought, like, two pistons with me, so we'll have to just make do, I'm afraid. I've got all these controllers because I was supposed to, like, finish the uh, conveyor belt off, but we'll... We'll use them for now. It can't hurt. In fact, I don't even need the controller. I can just literally connect a switch to this. Max connections reach! What the crap? What are you even connected to? That's not even doing anything. Small brain. I just seem to, like, make more problems for myself in this game. I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered taking a load of crates to Larry, so what should I do? Oh, yeah, let's spend a full week making a conveyor belt for no apparent reason. <laughs> Here, I'm like, I can get loot easily. Squid. Okay, let me just try and glitch a load of chests and bring them back home, which will take a full entire episode to get two chests. Ha! Ah, oh, come on. There's no friction. We need friction. We need some friction. Freaky deaky. What has friction? Circuit boards have friction. No, it's not having it. It's not happy about that. I was going to try pull it home, but I feel like this is not going to work. I feel like this thing's going to be way too heavy. Oh, what's it on? What's it on? What's it on? We need a max. Max power. Oh, she's heavy. Oh, she's so heavy. She's extremely heavy right now. Oh, my wheels are not having a great time. It's not, not, not a great time right now. So that's out of the question. Wow, this thing is really, it's really trying to annoy me today. Maybe if I can get it up on a ramp of some sort, maybe I can try the pistons again. Oh my God, I've been recording for an hour. What? What? I don't think I've ever been this unproductive before in a video. <laughs> but it's quite nice. I'm having fun. Problem solving with squid, even though I'm making problems myself. So we've worked out that it's easy enough to, to take home once we have it on the flatbed. Grabbing it is kind of hard. So what I'm kind of thinking is if I put these blocks down here. Actually, I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to make it like this. Okay, uh, put them down. That down. Mind you, we got component kits, so let's just give it a bit. Give it a bit of life. Go on, son. Come on. Come on. Okay, if I can get a block under... I can't get a block underneath it yet. It needs to be a bit more... It needs to be a bit more aggressive, dude. Just on just on the top. Just on the top. Just give it a little bit of a turn. A little bit of a turn. That's all, yes. Yes. Yes, go on. It's doing it. Okay, if I can take it off. There we go, it's rested, and now we should be able to do the rest with the lift! Ah. Don't fall off. Ah. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Why did I just do this on the back of the flatbed? Like, if I could have turned... Okay, I don't know. Anyway, it's on, so that's like half the problem solved, right? <laughs> flatbed, why are you rolling away? Why Why do we not have a handbrake in this game? Have we ever had a handbrake? Stop cars rolling away? No? He's still sliding! What? <laughs> oh my jeebus. I've got a big brain idea, guys. I've got a huge, colossal brain idea here. It's going to be a pit in the butt. And I'm just going to push it all the way home. Oh my god, it's pushing me. There we go. <laughs> no, we can't do this. Okay, this was a joke. This isn't supposed to work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why can't we push it with our level 5 engine? I don't understand. It just doesn't like it. 
you know what would probably work? Uh, like a, um, a ramp. I bet if I got a ramp, it'd work. We could push it up. We could scoop it up. Anyway, it's been that long that these two chests have probably refilled anyway. <laughs> Let's have a look. Have you refilled? No, have you? No. What the heck, man? They did refill before. I swear they did. Okay, where's a ramp? Do I have a spare ramp anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got a big one. And I'll take some small ones. And I'll take another big one. Okay, that should do fine. Here we go. Could probably do with them being on, on like, bearings, I reckon. That'd be a lot easier, because then we could flip it. Do we have any bearings? Yes, we do. And we have a controller, so we possibly could do it. I still think it's, it might be too heavy, but... All right, I've put them on um, a controller now, so... If we can get it into the ramps, then we should be able to lift it back up. So I'm going to try with the pistons again, pushing it on, and then hopefully pushing it onto the ramps. And uh, and then, yeah, it should work, I'm hoping. Oh my god, everything's just slide. <laughs> I honestly hate this game's physics sometimes. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just going to say it. I don't even care. Okay, this is my third and final big brain idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what, what am I even doing anymore? To these, to that, to this... So I need, try it on seven for now, fast. You know what, I don't even need this connected to the seat because then I gotta mess about. So I'm just gonna bring this here as well. We'll actually connect this. Actually, we'll put it there. Connect it side by side. So we need to push it and then lift it. You lifting? <laughs> come on, lift man. Lift man, come on, you can do it, go. Fast! It's struggling. I wonder if it's off the ground enough. Man, bearings just aren't strong at all, are they? Oh, has has are these affected? What about us? Oh, the bet. Oh, these were affecting it. We did it! Oh my goodness! Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. We've big brained it, guys. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, I reckon I could make a proper machine for this, like this sort of setup. But it all needs to be on pistons that can lower the ramps and stuff, so they're not like on the floor like this, but I reckon you could make a, a pretty awesome machine. <laughs> but I ain't got the patience today. I've done like an hour of uh, chest collecting. So let's uh, get this bad boy home, and then I'll show you guys how the conveyor belt is going. I'm just gonna put a safety bar across here to stop my hard work escaping. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's take it home. Are you joking? No! What's going on? I want to know if the devs actually play the game. Tell me, devs. Do you do you see what I'm seeing? Is this something... Is this something you're going to fix? Look at the wheel. Why is the wheels... I swear, if this falls, I'm... I'm done. Come on, just work. Why are you... <laughs> How is this a thing? They, they, I'm sorry. Uh, they need to sort... I don't know if it's my bearings that are making the vehicles do this, or it's the weight of this chest. But I feel like they need to sort some physics out in this game. I feel like they need to get rid of the spaghettification of pistons. I feel like they need to get rid of the weight aspect, or at least change it in some sort of manner. Um... Because I don't think that the bearings, uh, sorry, the weight stuff actually, like, you know, helps the game at all. Like, what does the weight do? I guess it provides a, a bit more of a challenge. But, like, can't the game sort of cal calculate it in a different way so that it's just not so laggy? Can I please just get home with this stupid crate? I'm going to turn my engines right down because I... would I feel like it's just messing up. I'm gonna have to just crawl home, I reckon. So at low speeds, it seems to be fine. That's kind of interesting. Oh, my FPS is back. Woo! Let's go. Is that gonna hit it? Ooh. Hi! Welcome. Meet your brothers, which I've rescued already. Welcome to the paradise. Welcome. Look, you gotta love the view. It's better than staring behind a rock all day. Have you not refilled yet? Why are you not refilling? I, how do things refill? Do I have to be aware? 
Do I have to fly away? Let, let me fly away and see if things refill. Let's get this bad boy out first, actually. Let's get it out. We don't need it anymore. I never want to pick it back up. I reckon um, I'm going to come up with a better contraption to steal these things because I feel like it is a good sort of way to get loot easily. But at the minute, we haven't really been getting any loot. <laughs> so maybe it's counterproductive. Maybe it's just like a bit of an investment. Maybe we just... Maybe we just have to wait. Go, 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 pistons, go. You can do it. I believe in you. Great. Okay. <laughs> it was just like, let it go then. <laughs> Punched it in the face as it went. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go show you guys the conveyor belt because I've done too much chest collecting today. Where did I put bear? Bear. Bear. My man. My dude. How you doing? How's the gas consumption? It's looking pretty, pretty good, actually. That's what I got done this episode. Three chests. So, guys, welcome to Lagfest. This is where the game really just slows down. The game's just not optimized enough for, for big projects. But we're going to finish it and we're going to see it in action. So, I'll give you a quick, quick demonstration. So, what's going to happen is things are going to fire out. The conveyor belt pushes it on to here. Uh, these will be open. And then... You just kind of break it like that. Actually, I'm going to just fix it a little bit first. So, yeah, these are going to be rotated up. So when everything is getting put into the little lift, um, yeah, this is going to be up. And then when everything's done, it's going to be shut so things don't fall out. So I'll just quickly connect this to a switch, which I've left back up my vehicle. I think there's one up here quickly. Let me just quickly get this. Put it on slow. All these rays. What is that one doing? <laughs> Are you good, sir? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, the crates will get popped out. They'll roll along here. They'll get popped in here, like so. And then this will get shut up. Then these will all activate. These, these are all on bearings here, the main conveyor system, that will turn on because there's a sensor we put at the top, which will activate, which will push it all along this system. So if I quickly go and press this, it'll get lifted up to the top and then we can race it. Come on, quick, quick, so I can show you guys what it's doing. And then there's a sensor. Uh, where's the sensor? Here. And then it activates when it sees the block there. And then it pushes itself along. So it's like 90% automatic. We've still got to press buttons and uh, sort of load it up, um, but it's not quite finished yet. There's a little bit more to do. So in the next episode, we're gonna uh, connect all this up. We're gonna connect the rest, if I don't fall. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna connect the- No! Oh my God, we survived. Yeah, we're gonna connect the actual conveyor up. I mean, all this is done, if I get my con connector tool out. All this is done to like here. This corner, we just need to kind of do. But, yeah, it's looking decent. So next episode, we'll be able to, um, yeah, just show it in action. And it should be pretty exciting. It's going to be a little bit laggy, but it actually, it should actually work. Though what's happening here is that we don't have these on quick enough. So I kind of need to make them a little faster. I died again. <laughs> is it working now? I think it's working out. I'll get my bag in a bit. I just want to see if it's working or not. We're gonna have to do a lot of tests and make sure there's no sort of ways that it's gonna get stuck. I feel like it's getting, I don't know why it's getting stuck on here. So what do I put it on max? It shouldn't really be getting stuck this early on. That's why we test stuff. We've probably left too much of a gap in between each of these things. One of the ways that you can easily sort this stuff out is by adding pipes in between uh, so that kind of comes up and pushes them or just another block. So if I added like a block like, like here, you see it pushes it. So if you add like little teeth on every one, then it's probably going to be a, an easier way to actually fix it. But that is the conveyor belt. It stretches right the way across there, all the way to Larry's. And hopefully in the next episode, we're going to have hundreds of carrot crates trotting along here. And I cannot wait to see the world lag out. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be pretty funny. But yeah, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, a sillier video today. And... Uh, kind of do the chest things so yeah i kind of like it so i don't believe anyone else has kind of done the chest thing either so yeah if you do use this in your scrap mechanic world and make a cool creation how to get them and pick them up easily um you know without an oh my fps is back on so nice <laughs> yeah without you know messing around like i did then let me know but as i say i only kind of figured it out the other day uh, as i was searching for component kits so 
yeah, tweet me some cool sort of vehicle ideas. Maybe we can work on that in a future episode of how to kind of get chests and stuff. But they do respawn. They do honestly respawn, and I just don't know why they haven't so far. Maybe it is a couple of days in between, or maybe it's something to do with render distance where they need um you need to kind of go out of the area to come back for them to actually respawn in. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. There we go. Yeah, maybe it's render distance. We just came out. We've got three batteries. Nothing. Or maybe it's just a day thing then. Three batteries for all our hard work. Wow. I feel like a bit of an idiot. <laughs> But anyway, guys, my name is B. Screw. Really hope you've enjoyed this Scrap Mechanic episode. I'll see you in the next one for the big conveyor belt testing and, uh, yeah, the, the grand reveal. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!